The Ace family is made up of Austin McBroom, his fiancée Catherine Paez, and their adorable children Ellen and Alea. Last time I did a vid on Catherine, you guys said I pronounced her last name wrong, so I hope I got it right this time. It seems like every time I check the Ace family's channel, they've gained a million subscribers. Since jumping on the YouTube scene, the family has absolutely taken over, with Austin and Catherine having undeniable chemistry. If they were in high school, Austin would be the star quarterback, Catherine would be the most popular girl, and they would 100% win prom king and queen. As full of love as they are, there was a time when these two were seeing other people. Although it seems like Austin and Catherine were made for each other, like anybody, the only way they would know for sure is if they had past partners to compare to. Now for those of you unaware, before Austin and Catherine met, he was a star basketball player and I'm sure he didn't have a hard time getting girls. She was a fitness model, actor, and absolutely stunning like she still is. Any guy would jump at the chance to get a date with Catherine. Well, no surprise that someone before Austin did, and that particular ex has actually been in some of the biggest movies to date. I mean, Catherine was even linked to a famous pop star too, but was it even true? I'll talk about all that a little later because today we're gonna tell you guys about the Ace family's previous relationships here for you on Famous Entertainment. What's going on guys, my name is Kara, and today we're doing something different here on Famous Entertainment. As always, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post videos so you can always be up to date. Today we'll be discussing some of the Ace family's past relationships and although the two seem to have found each other quite early on in their adult lives, you guys are gonna be very surprised when we talk about some of their past relationships. If you guys like this idea and wanna know the relationship histories of other celebs, let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. We'll start with the man of the house, Austin. Before Austin would declare his love every other day for Catherine, he seemed to have his fair share of fun. Last question. Okay. Did you ever meet your ex's parents or family? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty interesting, I must admit. And for those people who are curious to know, if your significant other did the same things they did with their ex with you, please do this challenge. I'm not gonna lie, I must admit that, um, you know, the first question is still bothering me. <laughs> This is the past. This is the past. She's in a better place now. More specifically, he took out Jasmine Marie Villegas, also known as Jasmine V. She's an American pop and R&B singer who was signed to Sony Music at just 16 years old. Most notably, she was featured in the video for Justin Bieber's hit single, Baby, as Bieb's love interest. The two would even date in 2010, but apparently things didn't work out. Difficult, because you, do you have a girlfriend right now? No, I'm single. Was Miss Jasmine's not your girlfriend? No. Okay. Are you getting pink in the cheeks? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> maybe. Maybe a little? Maybe because I'm looking at you. Maybe that's why I'm getting oh, so rosy. Maybe. Which led to Austin taking her out. And funnily enough, Jasmine isn't the only one in this video having a link to the beeps. I'll explain shortly. Although it's unclear how long Austin and Jasmine dated, she did tweet to fans she was speaking to someone in February of 2012. In June 2012, Austin tweeted out, Anyways, who eats every 30 minutes? You just ate at like 10.30. Now you're asking me to take you to get more food, SMH. Of course, tagging Jasmine. An old photo which unfortunately has since been deleted, claims the two were together at an amusement park with Jasmine's brother and some friends on June 12, 2012 as well. If Austin met Jasmine's brother, it seems like the two must have gotten somewhat serious. Although it wouldn't last, Jasmine would go on to sign with Interscope Records in 2013 and drop a single, That's Me Right There, featuring a young Kendrick Lamar, which debuted on August 5th of 2014. Austin would bounce back quick, linking up with Seiko Huffman for some time in 2014. God is good, God is great, let us thank you for our play. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Seiko was first known for starring on a reality show called Baldwin Hills on BT. At the time of their relationship, Austin would have been 21, while Seiko would have been 26. So good for him on getting an older woman at such a young age. Kid was a stud. It looks like the two only dated for a short period of time though, but based off of old tweets, it seems they started dating in February 2014. And in a now deleted tweet, Austin posted a photo with her in October 2014. The now deleted tweet prompted a fan to respond with, Seiko too bomb to not be shown off. 
Anyways, looks like Seiko is happily dating someone else these days too. Austin would start dating Catherine in 2015, and as you know, the two would go on to have an incredibly successful YouTube channel and two children at the time of this recording. But now we gotta talk about Catherine's dating history. Let's not forget she's the older one of the two, but it seems she didn't have much luck with serious boyfriends before Austin. First of all, Catherine has claimed that she doesn't even really remember any of her exes that well because it was so long ago, according to her. Hey, family, are you ready? By the way, our exes is a long time ago. It is. Oh, wait, question. So when we ask each other the questions, is this specifically about like a specific ex or like no, just people just... we dated in general? No, no, no. This is your most recent ex. Most recent? Yeah. I don't even remember who that was. <laughs> Well, your last, your last relationship. I don't remember. Oh, God. Well, this no, might sorry. not work. <laughs> I really don't remember. <laughs> Apparently, Catherine didn't even think her and Austin would stay together at first. She said, It's because when we met, every single relationship leading to that point has always ended. And so my initial thought was it's probably not going to last just because every other time hasn't. And I was at the point of my life where I was like, I think I'm gonna be single forever. So who are these mysterious exes that didn't last? It seems like a lot of her dating past is hidden well, but we've definitely uncovered some exes she's been linked to. Catherine had other men in her life before Austin came along, but she only really has proof of her family, like pictures with her dad and her brother from back then, who we do know she was really close with. This is what we do in Ikea. She must have deleted any evidence of her ex dudes. There are some photos online of a young Catherine with one of her exes, who from the looks of it is named TJ. There's proof of them together from old Instagram and Facebook posts. This was a long time ago though. Remember I said someone else in this video was also linked to Justin Bieber? Well, obviously it's Catherine. Small world in LA, doesn't it seem? Although pics of the two surfaced online in the past and yep, they were hanging out, I don't think they were a thing. Pretty sure it was because of Catherine's bestie Chantel Jeffries, who actually was hooking up with the Biebs at the time. But like I said, Catherine did date someone famous pre-Austin who you probably recognize. In case you guys didn't know, Catherine was dating none other than Michael B. Jordan before she got into a relationship with Austin. Yeah, we're talking one of the stars of Black Panther, the guy that played Apollo Creed's son in the Rocky spin-off Creed, and the star of the film that really set off his career, Fruitvale Station. That guy. Michael B. Jordan make anyone else want to rip their lungs out and eat them whole. <laughs> funny. Face. That's a lot of people. Like, I would sell three toes and one kidney to be in the same room. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, every time I think about Michael B. Jordan, my uterus combusts into flame. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's unclear how long these two actually dated for or if they dated at all. Based off of their pics together, it seems most of them were on the same day at the beach or later that day on the boardwalk. But this would have been when Catherine moved to LA to pursue her career as an actor. The two were spotted on a Miami beach back in 2014, but other than that, it seems they weren't spotted again after. Now this could have been because Michael B. Jordan wasn't necessarily an A-list actor at the time and no one really knew who Catherine was. The only notable work Jordan did up until 2014 would have been Friday Night Lights, Fruitvale Station, and another movie where he starred alongside Zac Efron, That Awkward Moment. So although he'd been active in the industry for 15 years, he was still on the come up. Regardless if it was just a weekend getaway that the two had or they were seeing each other for a little while, it's obvious they didn't last too long. Not long after the photos were taken, maybe a year if that, Catherine started going out with Austin. Whether you'd call it a fling or dating, I feel like maybe that would be the one ex who'd make Austin a little jealous. Then again, it seems like Austin's got it all. The looks, the success, so I doubt the guy would worry about much. Two more questions. Did you make him my favorite recipe, which is your pasta? No. No? Mm -hmm. God damn, did you even have an ex? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do shit for him. Or them. Right. No, seriously, no, I didn't. All right. I just can't help but wonder which exes Catherine's talking about when she looks back on it. Either way, it seems like these two don't have a long list of ex-boyfriends and girlfriends, which I think is a good thing. I mean, what would that say about someone if they had five major relationships that didn't work out before the age of 25? Now, of course, I wanna hear from you guys in those comments down below. Did you know about Austin and Catherine's previous relationships? Which one shocked you guys the most? It seems not a lot of people knew Catherine had a thing with Michael B. Jordan. 
Probably because A, it might have just been a fling, and B, because she was called a mystery girl when the story first broke, showing Michael holding her hand. Like I said before, at that point, Catherine really didn't have much of a name and was definitely not anywhere near the level of stardom she's sitting at now. Either way, we want to hear from you guys in that comment section down below, so let us know your thoughts. You gotta make sure you're subscribed and let us know what other couples you'd like us to cover in the comments below. Or maybe even some hookup or ex lists of specific celebrities. That could be fun. I don't know. You let us know below. And follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more. I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!